What once started as a simple food drive for homeless veterans at a Lockport school. Seeing the need out here in the community, um, we thought that we would take it to the next level. Grew into a full-on undertaking less than a year later. We found that Niagara County has the highest concentration of veterans in all of New York State uh, per capita. So we have a lot of veterans here, not a lot of services, and no housing for veterans. According to Jennifer DeAndrea Thierry, nearly 900 veterans throughout the county are homeless. But with the purchase of this house on Walnut Street, she's looking to change that. We will have seven male veterans in here. But over the course of time, as they transition out, other veterans will be coming in. So over a long period of time, we'll be helping countless veterans through this particular property. Serve Niagara helps veterans get back on their feet by first giving them a place to live. Therapeutic programs will help them overcome mental illnesses and addictions and become self-sufficient. PTSD is an issue, substance abuse is an issue, um, but we believe that everybody deserves an opportunity and no veteran should be homeless. And a couple doors down, another house just bought by Serve Niagara. They say this one will be a permanent living situation for two veteran families in need of a place to call home. Everyone needs a little bit of help around here. No one's... No one's quite wealthy, I guess, and everyone has their struggles. Serve Niagara plans to start renovating the temporary home this weekend so vets who need it most can move in by May. But the effort won't stop there. The organization hopes to buy more houses for returning heroes in the near future. In Lockport, Antoinette Delbel, Time Warner Cable News.